the storm of gaming be with you. What's up, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube and Grand Star Legion? Stormstriker SX9 here with another Mobile Mayhem video. The next game I will be checking out and playing. Hopefully, I'll make a playlist for this one as well. This one is called Undecember which you can get on the App Store, Google Play, and Steam. This is one of those games that is also on playable on the Steam Deck, as well as PC through Steam, and is also on Google Play and the App Store via Android and iOS phones or tablets, whatever you like to play your mobile games on. Undecember is a hack and slash game with RPG settings, I believe. Um, I've seen streams of this game and some gameplay videos of this game, but I haven't played it myself yet. But I thought this would be cool to record my first experience with this game and put it on Grand Star Legion. So yeah, it'll be fun. So yeah, Undecember is what the game is called. Again, you can find this on Steam through PC and the Steam Deck, as well as Google Play and the App Store. I know I keep repeating myself, but it's to help me remind myself of what I'm saying. And sometimes you guys want to hear it another time so you can hear what it is for again, you know. Anyways... Undecember is a fairly new game. It recently came out as well. So, yeah. This game released in 2023 in the month of June, I believe. So, yeah. Well, actually, hope you guys enjoy this game and video as well. Hopefully, there's some of you out there that know about this game. Or there's probably some of you out there that probably never even heard of this game before. It's fairly new, like I said. It just came out probably a week ago from when I recorded this video, which I recorded this video in June of 2023. I believe on the 19th. So, yeah. The 19th of June, 2023 is when I recorded this. And, yeah, let's go ahead and check out this game, shall we? Yeah, Undecember has a pr Protect Game Guard. Line games and need games. Undecember. All one word, no spaces. Undecember. I'll be I'm playing the Steam version of this game by the way on the PC but again like I said you could play this on the Steam Deck as well ever since the Steam Deck came out they started putting mobile games on Steam have you have you noticed that it's really cool ever since the Steam Deck came out they started putting mobile games on Steam it's pretty cool I know they started put they putting mobile games on the Nintendo Switch as well. Maybe this game will end up on the Switch as well. You know, it may already be set for it, but it hasn't came out for it yet. But you know, you never know. I will also like to say that this game may also hit the Microsoft Store at some point too. So I'll be on the lookout for that. It's not on there yet, but I got a good feeling it may someday be on there. But right now, it's only on Steam for the PC and, and Android and iOS for mobile. As you can see, I already made a character ahead of time to make sure I'm ready. 
This game's got a pretty cool character creation thing, too. Let's go ahead and look at that. So, you could be male and female in this game. Of course, when you go to make your character, you have a choice between making a seasoned character or a standard character. A seasoned character, create a seasoned character. Seasoned characters can only play with other seasoned characters. Once the season is over, the character is automatically converted to a standard character. The standard, create a standard character. Standard characters do not have their character info changed by seasons. At the start of the season, standard characters can be played in seasons through transfer. Of course, you gotta select a mode. I'm gonna select season for this one. As you can see, you can be male or female. For this one, I'm going to create a female, since the other character I made a male. You got hairstyles and hair colors to choose from as well. There we go. You think we're on a boat? Nope. It looked like we were on a boat. Because it was swaying and rocking like a boat would. Whoa! Anyways, I was just showing you the character creation. However, I think I'm going to continue the video with this character. Because why not? Those blasted dimps. What could they possibly gain from raiding a sandwalker? What we're on is a giant sand walker that also happens to be a sand boat or ship. They even prepared a ballista. Oh, this is bad. Incoming! Take cover! <laughs> My dear guest, I'm sorry, but it looks like this is the end of our sand walker joyride. Everyone must survive on their own from this point on. Oh, you get a choice of different classes. You want to be a warrior? Use your use the sword. You want to be a bow wielder? There's a ranger or a rogue or whatever. If you want to use the wand, that makes you a a wizard or a mage or whatever that you become with that. I think for this one, I'm going to go sword. I have absolutely no idea what the how the quest how the class system works in this yet, we'll find out together. All right, we got healing potions. Let's see. Yeah, HP potions and mana potions. Yep, this is definitely gonna be a Diablo style hack and slash game. You're 
looking for your friend. Sorry, but as you can see, I'm a bit occupied at the moment. Yeah, I'm sure you'll find him on deck somewhere. But you'll have to find him yourself, since I can't help you right now. Hey! Gwen! Let our guest here pass through. I got in focus mode. for your friend but the deck is even more dangerous than here you should at least take this with you although i'm not sure if it'll help out tutorial equipping skill room Okay, this is pretty interesting. We got skill runes in this game. You can equip skill runes into the rune crest or cast. Select a skill rune. Linking a skill rune to a skill link linking a link rune to a skill rune produces an additional effect. You can link a skill rune with a link rune if the link rune matches the skill rune's slot color. Select a skill to see which link runes it can be linked to. Select an equipable link rune. Select a skill to register in the skill slot. Crescent Slash. You can use runes? Wow. You must be a rune hunter. That's a relief. A rune hunter? Okay. I hope you find your friend. Liam, clear the path for our hunter. That's a lot of damage.
Yep, we get armor in this game too. There's literally no end to these dips. But this route had stayed relatively safe these days. What happened here? Hey, can you take care of these dips? We're all going down at this rate. Your friend. Oh, I'm guessing you're talking about that man. I saw him head towards the bow a while ago. Good luck. Quest completed. That's going to be a meme now, isn't it? Completed. With all these dims, what's going on here? I was just trying to catch some fresh air, but before I even realized, I got stuck here. I've been observing the situation develop while hiding here, and it seems the dims are slowly overwhelming the crew. We can't just keep fending off the dims that are crossing over. To end this, we have to take down their sandwalker. Looks like we have no other choice but to use this ballista. Wanna lend a hand in turning the tables? Why'd you do that? Good going, idiot. You idiot. You killed everybody that was on there. What the heck, dude? friend went east to mellow front <laughs> yeah but why the heck did he do that everybody that was on there is now dead please inform guard captain poshi about this situation <laughs> that was my literal reaction why did he do that now everybody's dead! Except for me!
He's down and out. Nice, I got a leap attack. And fireball? Ooh. That'll come in handy. So you could be a jack of all trades. Inter interesting. Basically, an, a jack of all trades is a class that can do anything. That's what they are. This path leads to Milo Front, the forward base of Afros. What brings you here? What? You took down Soak. Rune Hunter, I don't want to blame you. But you shouldn't have done that. Those dimps are now going to swarm in for revenge. We don't have time to waste. Lowen, let this rune hunter inside. Press the menu button. Press the button to move to the Zodiac screen. Press the stat info button. You can freely invest in strength, dexterity, or intelligence according to your play style. Press the back button. Press the button to reset your stats. Tutorial completed. Oh my god. It's always good to have them balanced out as well. As you can see, there, there are loads of stuff in here that you can do as time progresses and you level up and things like that. You'll be all over this thing. Okay, there's a chat in this game. What's this over here? Waypoint, Peddler, Blacksmith, Mystic, Mailbox, Storage, and Recruitment Board. What's in the mailbox? Mailbox! You've got mail. No, you don't. You don't have mail. Miss Mastery, Title, Achievements, Scenario Compendium, Item Compendium, Mastery. Mastery grows whenever you use Enchant or Alchemy. Ma mastery is comprised of Enchant Mastery and Alchemy Mastery. You can earn Mastery XP by using enchanting or alchemy, raising your mastery level will grant you mastery points. Spend your points on the option you want to enable the options effect. 
you can reset your, your mastery points by using currency. The amount required increases each time and the cost is, is reset every day. The Quest Compendium. The Compendium page is unlocked upon completing a specific quest. You can review the quests your character has already completed from the Compendium. The Journal is unlocked upon investigating a specific object or upon using a journal item. Once a journal is unlocked, you can check the re related story and earn rewards. Title, show off your personality with title er, titles earned during your adventures. Achievements, check out all of the achievements you accomplished during your adventures. The blessings of the 12 deities are with you. Item Compendium. Here's the shop. You don't have to spend any money on this game, but if you want to, go right ahead, but you don't have to. You can always play the game for free and earn your stuff the hard way. You got your recommendeds, con convenience, bundles, and consumables. And there's also a currency shop. You also have a season one challenge. Like I said, we're doing a season character. Season one challenges show up on this page along with special growth support events, total playtime events, and Zodiac Pass. Of course, there's a, there's a season pass in this game. Over on the right side corner up here is where your quests are. That's the mailbox. So the mailbox, sometimes the game will send you gifts for playing the game or doing events and whatnot. Or your friends will basically send you mail from the, well, from General or the Guild. Or your friend request will pop up in there too, I think. Enchantment time. So you can enchant your weapons in this game. That's pretty cool. Kroko will do best. Various items from your bag can be registered to the disassembled. Right click on an item to disassemble. Obtained items. Magic birth essence piece. Go 
good adventure needs good weapons. Do you want something? Buy something. You can also sell stuff too that you don't need. So what do you guys think of this game so far? Hey, you made it! I'm glad to see that you're unharmed. I couldn't find you after the crash, so I had no choice but to make my way over here alone. I hope you're not angry that I left you behind. Honestly, it was my first time firing off a ballista. I didn't expect things to turn out like that. I kind of just hoped for the best. <laughs> there were dims at the canyon? Huh, I didn't see any. Guess I got lucky. Oh, I did hear that you took down a notorious dimp named Soak. That's probably why Guard Captain Poshi was looking for you. Why don't you go pay him a visit? We'll go a little bit longer. I'm kind of enjoying this game. What do you guys think about this game? Have you tried it out yet? If you haven't, well, go try it out. Again, you can find this game on Steam or the App Store and of course Google Play. If you're more comfortable with playing this on the PC or the Steam Deck, go for it, you know? The Sandwalker was attacked again? Those damn dimps. They've been causing nothing but trouble recently. I'm just sick and tired of them. If this keeps up, we're going to have problems keeping the Sandwalker in service. Wait, do you hear that? Huh. That's... The Wasteland Bandits are coming! Everyone's arms! Hurry! Just as expected. You said you took down Soak, right? Then you're partially responsible for this mess. If you don't understand, go talk to Lance on the second floor. He'll fill you in with the details. What's with the stupid look on your face? Things are just getting started. Get a hold of yourself. So if you click on the quest, your character will move to that spot on its own. Oh, you must be the hunter Captain Posse was talking about. I'm Lance, the deputy captain of the Afrost Guards. The sound of that bell signals an attack from the Wasteland Bandits. The Wasteland Bandits are notorious for threatening those who travel across Afrost Wastelands, which is the only path that leads to Bellatus. They've competed against the Dimps, the natives of these wastelands, to take over Mellowfront for quite some time. But now the great Dim warrior Sauk is gone. They're taking this opportunity to strike first. Can you help us stop the wasteland bandits?
Yeah, let's take out these bandits, shall we? Scorpions, creatures of the desert. Scorpions that shoot things from their tail. Those look like vultures or some kinds of vultures. I hope there's a compendium for the what we're attacking too. I would like to look those creatures up. I'm thinking about streaming this game on Twitch, too. It looks really fun. I'm pretty sure it'll get addicting, too. <laughs> Not to mention a grind fast as well. Ooh, rare monsters. The ones in blue are rares. The ones in orange are, are uniques. The ones in red are bosses. Or mini bosses. Ooh, they got shrines in this game, too. This game has a loot system as well. And waypoints. Yep, this is definitely like a Diablo clone. I'm not trying to say it's a Diablo clone, but it is in the realm of that area. I could probably say this is uh, Diablo meet Path of Exile. What I mean by Path of Exile, Path of Exile has that wild skill system kind of thing that, that you saw earlier with the Zodiac thing. Yeah. More sand critters. Let's 
So we're level four. Go to the mallow front using using a scroll, a return scroll, or waypoint. Okay, we found the waypoint. Let's see. Okay. Yep, it's got a waypoint system. So you can make the runes stronger. Right click on a rune to grow. Okay. Hoping to grow stronger? This is the rune shop where you can buy runes, basically. Ooh, earth blow? Do I, I have enough to get that? Shield strike? We don't have a shield yet. Whirlwind? All right. Okay, for those skills, we need an axe, a blunt weapon, or a staff. Let's go talk to Lance. A letter that Alto is holding? Let no, me take a look. not that Lance, Starman. According to this letter, the Wasteland Bandits have a secret deal they're carrying out soon. There's a character in this game called named him. There's not much detail about it, but it says that the deal will take place at Sunrise Hill. From the looks of it, there's a good chance that a key figure of the Wasteland Bandits will be there. Rune Hunter, defeat the Wasteland Bandits at Sunrise Hill and find out what they're planning. Okay. We got level five. Okay, titles are classified into normal, magic, rare, and legendary. Some titles can only be obtained by season characters. Wasteland Adventurer. Is 
Achievements are divided into the Battle, Adventure, Growth, and Living tabs. Check out the requirements and rewards from here. All right, so we're going to end it here for now. However, if you guys enjoy this game and video, I will record more of this and we'll make a playlist for it as well. Along with Diablo Immortal as well. I plan on recording more of that too. So, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed the game. I am Stormstriker 69 part of Grand Star Legion. If you enjoyed this game or video, don't forget to click the like button, comment below, share with your friends, add the favorites, and click that subscribe button. And also, don't forget to click the notification bell to know when we upload new videos. Also, if you want to, I can also record some of this game onto my YouTube channel as well. And I may, like I said earlier, I may stream this on Twitch as well. We'll see. Um, I need to get used to this game first before I do anything like that on Twitch. Uh, this, like I said, this is still a fairly new game. Um, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the game and video, and I will see you guys next time. I will continue more of this game. Don't go anywhere.